Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Dan, and I'm building a straight-tailed Sonics. So we're gonna go work on the airplane today, but first, we have to do a little chicken check. Good morning, ladies. You all got any snacks left, you? Also, in case you're wondering, I do own other clothes, but these are the ones I'm willing to get dirty and torn up and, uh, and destroy by working on the airplane. So uh, I keep wearing the same clothes over and over. I'm not just wearing the same ones for fun. After the last video, I came out here and I, uh, well, with the help of my wife, popped the airplane outside so I could get some better reach into uh, some areas. Uh, there are, um, what do you call it, rivets that go into there and some other hard to reach places that um, it was just too difficult being under the airplane for so long. But now that I have it up here, I decided I'm going to go ahead and put the floor on a little more semi permanently. I'm going to go ahead and drill it up to the right size and um, dimple dye it and countersink the launcher on so it all fits properly because uh, I don't want to do that while the airplane's on its landing gear upside down because it's just not fun. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I also have um, my hardware for uh, putting my um, uh, bolts in for these gussets so I'll get those going as well too. But it's looking pretty good, enjoying it. I also uh, came out here a little while ago and vacuumed up and got the shop looking nicer because it was getting a little dirty, but that's okay. That's just part of the process of building. The bottom's on now with these Clecos. I'm a little bit unhappy with the tiny bow I have in the skin right here. So I just asked my wife if she can come out, uh, help me twist it back over flat again. I'm not sure if I'm putting pressure on the airplane by um, having it on its side. So once we get it flattened, we can double check that and then go ahead and drill it up. So my wife came out and we rotated it up, uh, straight up and down. We rotate it this way and the bulbousness is the same no matter what position it's in. I wasn't sure if I was putting a kink into it by having it sitting on two sawhorses and then flexing it. So what I'm gonna do is just put one um, Clico at a time into the biggest bulbous wherever it is and just trying to see if I can pat it down, kind of like cat and mouse or whatever, uh, wherever it pops up, just put it down. Because I don't think this can turn anymore. It, it's to the point where it just, there's no more flex in it. So I don't think anything's gonna change, which I needed to know before putting these uh, holes in it because Again, it's a really nerve-wracking thing to put all this time into something and then drill it wrong. So um, I'm comfortable with it now. I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling it and go from there. Okay, so I've been out for about two hours. I went ahead and took a quick break and back out now. I wanna show you what I did. So I've been going piece by piece and uh, trying to make sure all the bows are out of the aluminum. I have most of it out. There's one right here, which I'll see if I can get that last bit out. Everything else is looking pretty good. Just going through piece by piece. And um, remember these ones have already been pre-drilled. I just really am trying to get these through the Longerons, which is that big piece of uh, aluminum angle iron or whatever you want to call it. And then I'll drill it up to the larger size and countersink and dimple dye all the good stuff. I'm not going to rivet at this point in time because you have to put a bunch of other pieces inside and they suggest don't do it till the last last minute because you have to rig all the controls and go all the uh, rods and things through and I still have one or two little things to do inside as well. Got the bottom on. I'm leaving a couple uh, undrilled. The bottom floor here will attach to, actually it's right here, this floor. So I'm going to drill all th uh, three of those pieces together and then go back and dimple dye them later because they're uh, inboard, which is a little easier to get to. And then, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and drill up to the 30 size now. And also um, I'm waiting to drill on uh, these pieces as well because I want to make sure the tail is on so I drill these holes 100% in the right spot. It took about two and a half hours to drill it to the 40 size and about 30 minutes to drill up to the 30 size. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a lunch break and then come back and take this out and dimple dye the skin and the uh, cross members here. Then start countersinking the lingerons from the bottom and then they'll be ready to go. Again, I'm not going to attach this because I have to get back in it and uh, 
keep doing things, but at least I can get it a little bit further and keep it going. Break time is over. I spilled something on my shirt when I was in there, so I changed that, but I also have a beer here. I'm off alcohol and caffeine for the next six months, so this will have to do. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, bottom of the plane off and go ahead and dimple dye that and countersink the laundry. So I worked on the bottom of the airplane and got it all dimple dyed and ready to go. And I went ahead and started working on, oh, here comes my wife. I went ahead and started working on um, getting the bolts in through these gussets as well. And then now I just went ahead and used my bending brake to bend uh, this piece here and this piece here. And now Katie's gonna help me flip the airplane so I can drill it flat. Say hi. Hello. All right. After working the bolts for a while, I finally switched over to getting these gussets put on. I finally switched to getting these gussets put on. I went ahead and drilled them up, painted them, and pulled the rivets. And then I started taking a look at the plans again. I'm going to start working on the um, forward uh, box. What I've noticed is that sometimes when I'm working on the airplane, I need to kind of read ahead for a while and start working on some simple sub-assemblies. And then my subconscious can kind of go back and then figure out what else I have to do with these other parts. Because um, it's a little bit chicken and egg sometimes. You have to work on part A before installing part B. But it's going pretty well. I'm really enjoying it. But um, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you all soon.